place the guns down on the ground and step away from the vehicle. Okay, come on, step back. With backup hours away, Does everyone come on up, stand right in the line right up here for me. Warden Kyle Chang must contain the trespassing gunman alone. No weapons on you, right? No. Okay, any anything illegal, any illegal firearms that I should know about? Nope. Okay, do me a favor, everyone come up over here, just place your hands on the hood for me, for my safety. Sure. How'd you drive through off of Highland Springs, it's locked up. There was dirt roads over. No animal shots today. Whose is this? Be mine. Okay, do you have your weapons permit with you? Weapons permit? And they basically went through the external area, um, through the fence line, which is actually has cuts in it, and then trespass through the wildlife area. Make sure all the weapons are registered, the ones that are more serious in nature. Copy. Firearms when ready. Is going to be a semi-automatic Ruger pistol, caliber 22, serial number 15-72. Second weapon is going to be a AR-15. It's going to be LRB arms. While waiting for dispatch to check the guns for criminal history, Chang searches the suspect's truck for evidence they broke into the preserve looking for uh, any bolt cutters or wire cutters that could cut down fence. If they possess that, we could potentially get them for uh, destruction of state property. If we could uh, match the tool marks, the lock being cut in the fence. Five, three, four, five, go ahead. Four five is to come continuing on the serial number one five zero three five seven two. No record on file. Copy. I'll advise me clear. The guns come back clean, but the trespassers aren't off the hook. What I'm going to give you is a citation for the motor vehicle trespass in the wildlife area. Okay. Okay. That one empty. Some magazines. Make sure all the guns are clear. 